Hey you guys, what's happening? Roby here with the Divi Engine team with another Divi Engine quick tip for you. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at Divi Ajax filters. But what you learn here, you can also use in Body Commerce and Divi Machine. So it's full of value for you. And the topic you may ask, conditional logic. Yeah, big scary words, but it is super useful. And if you look on the screen here right now, you can see how I am making certain fields display depending on what was selected and that you're going to learn to do right now. So let's go and take a look. Okay, guys. So here we are on my Ajax filter page and I've got my filter right here and I've got my archive loop over here. First thing I'll do is enable my visual boulder and that will bring all of this up. Don't pay too much mind to the way it's displaying. That is just a little visual boulder bug that will be straight now. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go here on the filters and open this up. Now, so what we're doing is we're gonna only display the field sequentially. So if somebody selects a size, brands will show up. And then as soon as somebody selects a brand, colors will show up. And that is done with the beauty of conditional logic, but we need to do some setup first. So first let's go into my sizes field here. And you can see that this is just a product attribute that I created. And I will scroll down to the conditional logic area. Now, one thing you'll want to do is give it a logic ID and a logic title because that allows you to work with this in conditional logic. So first I'll say is size underscore ATT for size attribute. And then I'll just say sizes for the logic title. This, you know, th these you need to be unique. Um, it's good to have this unique because it is referenced later on. On the first field, you do not need to enable it because we just want it to display whenever it's, you know, there. Um, and you know, the logic works in the way that if the conditions are met, it displays the item and we'll see more about that in the next field. So let's continue to the brands and here on brands. Again, I will go down to conditional logic. I will say brands underscore ATT for my logic ID. And then I'll just say brands. Now the magic comes in. We need to say enable the conditional logic. So the way to think about this is. If this statement here is true, it will show the field. So of course we wanna have sizes and you'll see a bunch of options here for does not equal. You can have specific values in here. Um, and you could say that if a size is large, you want to have a different field display. I mean, this is up to you. I'm just giving you the tools to get started with this. Now I'm gonna say if sizes is not empty, I want that field to be displayed. So what that would mean is that a size has been selected. So I'll say, bam, yes, that's what I want. And the next one for colors, we'll go down to conditional logic. We'll say colors underscore ATT, and then we'll just say colors here, and we will enable it. And now same thing, we wanna say, okay, well, if sizes are, you know, is not empty, we want it to be displayed and and here's the important part. And you can see these labels that we created earlier coming in here. Um, and that's why that's so important. Um, and if brands are also not empty. Now, right now it's going to say any, right? It's set to any. But if I set it here to all, that means all these conditions need to be met for it to be displayed. So let me save that. I'm going to save that module. And then all we need to do is save our page and exit the visual builder. Okay, so, so far so good. Size is showing, medium, brands are showing. Bam, there it goes. And guys, how awesome is this though? These swatches, another great feature of Ajax filters. And if you use body commerce, of course, that's available to you also. You can reset your filters and then that will display everything again. So guys, that was this quick tip. So if you don't use the Ajax filters, TV machine or body commerce yet. What are you waiting for? Go out and grab that. There'll be a link in the description for a discount code. Also, if you do already have this plugin, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel to make sure that you are able to take advantage of all the features in the plugins you've purchased. So with that, guys, this has been Roby with the Divi Engine team. It's been a pleasure. I'm going to catch you in the next one real soon. Bye for now.